Standing by. Action. You spent the last 18 months living in an abandoned building for f**k's sake. So what? So, you're still gonna do better in your HSC than most people. Most people wouldn't have kept it together. That's the kind of stuff that breaks people. My character's Brooke, and in the start of the play, she's 16, turning 17. So you're angry that I've managed to keep it together and get on with my life? She's left home because her dad beats her mum and she can't take it anymore. Would you rather I just throw it all away? She is living in an abandoned building. So some of these are the images that she sees in her yeah. mind. Um, during those kind of moments where she is kind of distracted or being pulled away. Milk Crate is a pretty unique company, um, mostly because we work with an ensemble of artists who have a lived experience of homelessness or marginalisation, and they bring such a rich tapestry of experiences and diversity to the company so that the work that we create feels really grassroots and really authentic. So I kind of stay just somewhere around here behind this cliff that you can see where the water's rushing off. Yep. Um, yeah, I used to climb over a bunch of rocks and there was a little indent cave bit and I'd climb in there and it was a safe spot for me. Well, I lived in a pretty messed up childhood. Um, so I always kind of wanted to get out of there. Um, and when I did, I had nowhere to live. Um, my nan did take me in for a while. She was like a mother to me. Um, so, but then she, um, she got very sick with cancer. Yep. Um, and when she passed, I pretty much had nowhere else. So, yeah, it was just bouncing around from there. You don't know where you're gonna lay your head that night or, you know, if you're safe where you are, um, if you're gonna eat that day, that sort of stuff. So it's a lot of like not knowing. Bondi was pretty much the very first place in my life that I felt was home. If you're looking for an unmarked place Were you ever scared staying there? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. I was scared any time I wasn't in a safe sleeping environment, um, which is why I didn't really sleep. <laughs> I'm afraid of myself. Well, I'm not. You're not like him. And I'm not afraid of you at all. Rachel, that's it, that, and that, like that pause and the truth that you had in that moment was gorgeous. Well done, and great work, Contessa. Excellent. What do you love about your character? Her strength. Like, um, like myself, she's a survivor. Like, doesn't matter what life there is in front of you. I'm determined. I'm going to do what I want to do, and I love that about her. Everyone really <laughs> has something that they can contribute through a lived experience or a friend's experience. Um, so that means that our conversations are very rich. Um, they're very lively. You can't hide from me, Clem. Wherever you go, I'll be able to find you. You belong to me. You belong to me. Now open this f***ing door and stop pissing about. I'm as happy as a pig in shit. Yeah, you know, working with your crate. Once I can practice it a bit more. I reckon that scene's going to be really nasty. With a lot of the stuff that happens in this show, I've got lived the experience of yeah. some yeah. of it. Like, with my character, Mac, yeah. right, um, I grew up with that sort of thing, and I was starting to head down that road myself. So do you want to have a couple of laps to kind of build yourself up? I find the environment here of the staff and the crew, and it's the only place I feel where, where I actually belong. And I'm, I, I'm not just accepted, I'm actually liked here. Get out of my house! Stop the steps! I told you, you should have cleaned up first, bitch! She should clean it up. Why should she clean it up? You should get down on your hands and knees and pick every bit of shit out of that cupboard with your teeth. I just got told, oh, we're going out for another bow, and I was like, oh, okay, fine. And then, yeah, I just, I couldn't look at everyone. I started tearing up. It was amazing, like, confronting, but in a good way. So it was a very, very powerful play, and it really made me, like, consider and think about where I am and how privileged I am. So perhaps we have a reason for a long for well, I hope that by seeing the play and seeing this, 
that different people can end up in different scenarios no matter where you come from and no matter whether you're rich, poor, old, young, it can happen to anyone.